All right, hey guys, so to begin, you'll be given a 360 degree protractor printed on computer paper, and you are going to position your hemicylindrical lens in the center. These are my 90 degree positions up and below, so let me zoom in here so you can see better. Uh, 90 degrees here and here, and then this is my zero degree line. So I am going to have you position the lens such that it's mostly in the center, this flat edge is along the zero degree line and you are going to trace your lens all the way around. This way if you bump the table or you jostle the lens, you can easily put it back into place. Okay, and I've already done this, but you are going to mark the normal position at the center. So at this 90 degree line, you want to mark this because this is your target. You'll be aiming for this line when you uh, shine your incident ray on the lens. Now I'm going to reposition my lens here and I'm going to show you this. This is a laser ray box. It's really great for doing these type of labs because when I click this button you can see I get a really nice sharp line that's easy for you to see. And I'm going to show you... Okay, so the way this works is I shine the light at an angle of incidence with the with respect to the normal. So I'll zoom in here so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so here is my normal position. I've circled it 90 degrees, and I'm shining the light at 130. Let me turn this off so you can see. 130 degrees. Okay, I'm shining it at this black line, and I'm making an angle between the incident ray and the normal position of 130 minus 90 gives me 40 degrees. 40 degrees is the angle of incidence. Now, if I come up here, this is my refracted ray right up here. And I'm gonna zoom, zoom in. So my refracted ray is around, looks like 65 degrees, maybe 66. I'll go with 65, nice. Um, Five. Okay, 65 degrees, cool. Uh, zooming out. So 65, and that's my 90 degrees. That's my normal position. So 90 minus 65 is 25 degrees. So my angle of refraction, theta sub r, is 25 degrees. And my angle of incidence, theta sub i, was 40 degrees. Excellent. How easy is that? But life is never as easy as we want it to be, of course, of course, because as great as the laser ray box is, as easy as it makes for us to do this lab, we don't have enough of these for everyone to use one. So we're going to use laser pointers. Okay? Laser pointer's nice. You just hit the button and the laser light comes out. Please don't try and see each other's eyes. The intensity of the light can cause damage to the receptors in your eyes, um, so just be very careful. Anyways, you will notice that unlike my handy dandy laser ray box that makes a really nice line, the laser pointer is kind of diffuse and scattered and it doesn't make it so easy to see, so we have a workaround. You can angle the laser down and I know it's scattering a lot of light, so the camera is, is picking up more light than my eyes are seeing. But I can angle this around the 130 line, and I point the laser down. So I'm pivoting down. I'm striking the normal position, and the bright area I see with my eyes goes right over 65 degrees. So that's one way. Another way is we can use a second lens, which will come in your kit. And I'm putting my second lens here and still angling it down. I get a slightly sharper beam. Um, it might be helpful. A finer beam here, even though you might not be able to see it. It's a great way to practice also with lenses and focal lengths. So again, I am at the 130 degree line, 130 minus 90, 40 degree angle of incidence. And I'm seeing a 65 degree angle of refraction. Refraction occurs along this edge. No refraction occurs along here. The light passes straight out, but it allows me to read what this refraction was that occurred actually at this boundary going through. 
And that's all for now. Um, study well. See you in lab.